Every day feels like a blur. You get up, get to your morning routine, and get to your day. You look forward to the evenings because it's the only time you get to zone out and relax. By the time the week is over, you hardly have enough time to reset on the weekends before Monday shows up again. Don't get me wrong, life is good. You have more than enough to be grateful for, but for whatever reason, this nagging feeling of overwhelm and exhaustion continues to follow, like a growing cloud hanging over your head. And worse even, you find yourself zoning out during important moments and unintentionally getting lost in the scroll. If only you had more time, if only you had more energy, if things were a little more balanced, you might just might be able to have the space to breathe deep and enjoy. So each opportunity you have, you search for answers. You wake up early, start your day with something positive, exercise, meditation, or journaling. You show up and give 100% to your work responsibilities and to the people around you. You practice gratitude and focus on positive things that you want to manifest. You've decluttered your home, improved your diet, refined your sleep hygiene, but no matter what you try, and despite the satisfaction each effort brings, they only seem to add to the increasing weight of fatigue. So why is nothing working? Here's what I think. Nothing is working because you are working too hard. In a culture where we glorify hustle and grind, there's never such a thing as being too busy or working too hard. But more and more we're finding stress, anxiety, and fatigue ramp up. And despite how seemingly balanced our life may be or used to be, we feel totally out of balance and out of control. Today, I'm gonna to talk with you about how you can quickly and easily encourage more energy and enjoyment in your life. But first, I'd appreciate it if you take the time to hit the like button on this video. It's a great way to let me know you're interested and want more content on these topics. Thank you for doing that. So here's the thing. When it comes to the way our body responds in life, it's not just what you do, but the way you do things that matters. Think about it. Have you ever been sick and heard somebody quietly shut the door? just after they've checked in on you? Have you ever heard somebody slam the door to express their anger? There are different intents and energies between the two. Similarly, how you go about your day sends a different message. When you're aggressively tackling your activities throughout the day, you're putting your mind and body under stress. Meanwhile, a growing resentment starts to take place, and rather than looking forward to your daily to-dos and goals, you begin to resist and detest them. This creates a negative anchor that cycles and grows each day. And because you're trying so hard, this continues to exhaust you. Sometimes there's nothing that needs to be done or solved. Oftentimes there's no hurry. It's good to have deadlines so that you don't derail or stall, but we both know that isn't your problem, is it? Your problem is the inability to set things down and walk away so that you can enjoy life a little while. So then you ask, why am I not enjoying this process? Well, because you aren't taking the time to enjoy the process. Let's talk about some ways to make this less difficult to achieve. First, turn your need to achieve into a need to achieve some fun and relaxation. I know it sounds totally irresponsible, but I promise scheduling time for yourself daily, at least a half hour to an hour to do something simply for fun will benefit you not only more productivity and less stress, but also the skill of being able to turn on and off your go, go, go mode like that. Also, when I say fun, I don't mean like it sounds fun to tackle another project. I mean really have fun. And when I say relax, I don't mean to zone out on social media or the TV screen. I mean do something that leaves you feeling totally relaxed when finished. Whatever you do should have no other objective other than to enjoy or to relax. Personally, I spend my lunch break each day wandering the property and enjoying the fresh air with my husband. Evenings during dinner time, we always have family game night with the kids. Yeah. We're a little spoiled, but I think it's well-deserved after everyone's put in a long day of focused, purposeful effort. You deserve some relaxation and fun after putting in all that effort too. Second, bring the fun into as many daily activities as possible. I never knew that working out could cause more stress instead of less in my life. My subconscious performance expectations, as well as a bias to having exercise look a certain way, made it this mounting task that needed to be accomplished every day. When I replaced this with things I enjoyed, like gardening or dancing, I found myself looking forward to moving every single day. If something has to be done a certain way, add fun or relaxation to it. 
play some enjoyable music while you're cleaning, listen to something entertaining while you're driving, set up break timers for a moment of deep breathing throughout the day. Take a moment to look at all your tasks and ask, is there any way I can make this more enjoyable or relaxing? Some examples I utilize in my own life I've created a cozy space to sit and type when I write. I usually bring a nice cup of tea or a snack. This space is my thinking and creating corner. At night when I'm brushing my teeth and taking care of my face and hair is when I catch up on some YouTube videos. And folding laundry or mowing the lawn is when I listen to audiobooks or meditation apps. Multitasking isn't always productive, but in areas where it can add some relaxation or fun without taking the focus away, it's typically beneficial. Next, take the time to soak in the moment. It's equally about the journey as it is the destination, and the journey usually takes the longest, so it's important to enjoy the journey. Sometimes things are inconvenient or unfavorable, but taking the time to see how those specific things allow you the privilege of certain experiences shifts your paradigm towards a desire to complete the task rather than to resent it. Anytime my kids interrupt my flow, I stop for a moment and think, wow, not only do I get to be a parent, I get to be a parent whose kids crave attention and time with. When I'm dealing with an overwhelming difficult task of taking on a new client project, I think it's so cool I get to choose this client and project to work with. You see, life's full of problems, and as Mark Manson so beautifully puts it, it's not about having no problems in life. It's about choosing which problems you want to have. When you consider this, you realize you actually do want most of the things on your task list because the outcome is what you desire. So if feeling energized, clear, and productive is the outcome you desire, learn to enjoy the process of fun and relaxation. I mean, think about it. I'm telling you to have fun. While I know this can seem difficult and pointless, I can think of worse things plenty of them. So before we move on, there are a couple of things to consider. You can't fake enjoyment and relaxation. This is because you're not trying to convince me or anyone else. In order to truly generate balance and recharge your energy, you truly have to allow yourself to authentically enjoy. You have to bring your mind and body into states of relaxation, and it takes conscious awareness and effort to do so. So don't fight yourself about it. Also, if your sleep routine and quality is not solid, never mind expecting anything. It's not that these tips won't help, they certainly help manage stress and energy. However, you probably won't experience the same results without a good foundation of sleep. I talk a lot about improving sleep on this channel, so if you haven't looked into those videos yet, you can check them out in the link here or in the description below. So before you write this off, in exchange for a tangible solution that actually works, I challenge you to be open to the idea that that thought itself is a clear indicator of your goal-oriented need to achieve. And I challenge you to give this a try first. Every day for two weeks, find a way to incorporate at least half an hour of fun, regular relaxation, and mindfulness into as many things you possibly can. At the very least, I'm confident you'll find a little more focus, ease, and appreciation throughout each day. You've got nothing to lose. I wanna thank you for being here and the time you've taken to watch this video. It's my goal to give you more insight, info, and resources into how to optimize your time, energy, and success. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, remember to let me know your thoughts, please, in the comments below. If you've decided to take on my challenge, I wanna hear from you, see how it went, and also make sure you hit the like button. All right, fam bam, as always, I love sitting here for a little tea time with you and it's been a nice chat. I look forward to next time. Ciao for now.